In California, more than 10,000 firefighters spent the weekend trying to put out six large wildfires. An hour east of Los Angeles, fire officials are still assessing the damage from a fire that torched more than 300 buildings, including more than 100 homes. Mireya Villarreal is there. Outside San Bernardino, the blue cut fire exploded out of control, roaring through the Cajon Pass like a runaway train. Today, thousands who were evacuated are anxious to see whether their homes were among the 300 structures destroyed in this fire. In Northern California, the Clayton Fire tore through 4,000 acres and almost 200 homes, including Matthew Porter's. He was tending to the U.S. Olympic fencing team's equipment in Rio when he heard the news. Coming to see it, uh, difference between knowing it mentally and when you come and see it, that's when it kicks in. Along the coast, the chimney fire is threatening the historic Hearst Castle in San Luis Obispo County. Fires near Santa Barbara and Bakersfield have burned through a combined 36,000 acres. In just one week, these five fires, fueled by 100-degree temperatures, strong winds and years of drought, destroyed nearly 100,000 acres. As long as we have these conditions, we're going to see intense fires. Costa Dillon is with the National Park Service. We used to think in Southern California that the Santa Ana wind season, that is the fall, was when fires were at their greatest danger. Now it's all the times. The Blue Cut fire is now mostly contained, but Elaine, fire officials tell us it is still too dangerous for people to come back home who live in this area. Mireya Villarreal, thank you.